Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to take you through the process of making an entire fully featured, fully ready animation from scratch. This is a big tutorial, this is like the culmination of everything that you've uh, learned so far, and we're going to do it over a few parts. Before we get started though, I'd like to credit the uh, the original inspiration for this. On our website <clears throat> is a video called Ninja Assassins, it's by one of our users, John Bez, and if you go looking for it, <clears throat> this is quite a cool, quite a funny little clip that uh, John's made and he's kindly given us his permission to use the audio from it. I'm going to try and recreate this uh, in front of your very eyes, with a few exceptions. This is almost a minute long, I've cut the dialogue down to probably around half of that, probably 25 to 30 seconds long. So we're going to do a, a shortened, slightly truncated and inferior version to the one that John's already made. Now we're going to do the video in four parts. Part one, which we're about to start, concerns preparation and getting your assets together. Now by assets, I mean all the things you need to make an animation. So I'm going to pretend that we're starting this from scratch. okay? And the first thing that we do when we uh, start an animation from scratch is inevitably start off with some sort of idea for a story. Now again, I'm not going to um, well, I'm going to pretend that this story is, uh, you know, coming out of uh, blue sky right now, and it's not an inspirational piece from from John's stuff. But anyway, let's imagine we've come up with this idea for a story for a bunch of ninjas meeting on a street corner, and the first thing I've done is I've written a very short script for it. Now, quite often you can bypass this stage in the animation process because if it's just you that's working on it and you kind of know the way that this, the story and the script's going to go, then you can ignore this part. However, I quite like writing down a quick script because it lets me see the shots that I'm going to need, it lets me see the sound effects that I'm going to need to find and some of the dialogue and voices and sets I'm going to have to build. So I've written a short script, just like this. And then the next thing that you should do when you're doing an animation, because it's a visual medium, it's always good to have a storyboard. Translate that script into, if you like, a comic of what's going to happen on screen. And what's going to happen is that on a city street, we're going to have a ninja dressed in black, um, somebody red turns up, they have a short conversation, and then somebody yellow turns up at the end. MovieZoo only has four cameras, you're only allowed four camera shots, so I've designed the script, the story and the storyboard around those four camera angles. We've got the wide shot being number one, two, three, a repeat of number two, and finally number four down here. Once the script and the storyboard's done, you can then look at it and work out the things that you're going to need to make this animation possible. Sound effects is one. I'm going to need um, some sort of musical fanfare because it's said in the script that we've got a fanfare right at the start. A theme tune if you like. And I'm also going to need a kind of ambient sound for a city street at night time. The other footsteps and incidental sound effects can all be provided by movies here, so I don't need to go looking for them. So where did I go to find my sound effects? I went to this website, freesound.org. This is an amazing library and collection of sound effects and musical loops and all kinds of stuff like that that you can use for free and without any worry about royalties. So from this website I found two pieces of audio. I found the fanfare that I'd like to use at the start of the animation and I found this um, city background um, sound effect. The next thing I'd have to do with this stuff in place is I'd actually physically have to go ahead and record the voices. Now it's always easier if you're animating to a vocal track uh, to start with. So it's one of the first things that I do is that we get the voices down and recorded and you can hear what we're working with. You can hear the timing and how much space you need between certain sentences and if needs be, you can edit it in a third party free sound editing program like Audacity. The link to which you can find on our website, moviezoo.com. So let's imagine I've gone and recruited John Bez and he's recorded some of the voices for me. I now have a fanfare, I now have a city ambient, and I now have the voices recorded all in a format that Moviezoo likes. <laughs> 